the placenta its structure types and physiology is the topic of our discussion today placentation is a greek word and it means a flat cake name is received from the human placenta which is flat round mass shaped more or less like a pancake the term placenta in its broadest sense refer to any region in the viviparous organism where maternal and embryonic tissues of any kind are closely opposed and which serve as a site for physiological exchange between the parent and the embryo placenta is a fetal maternal organ it has two components the fetal part develops from chorionic sac which is called chorionic frondosum the maternal part is derived from the endometrium which is the functional layer decidua bacillus the placenta and the umbilical cord are the transport system for substances between the mother and the fetus because of the vessels in the umbilical cord the functions of placenta include first of all protection nutrition respiration excretion and hormone production placenta is a temporary organ which is formed jointly by the fetus and the maternal tissues by which fetus obtain nourishment placenta serves as provisional lung intestine kidney and endocrine gland it allows the maternal and fetal blood to come in proximity for the exchange of substances actions are highly selective as it permits the entry of food vitamins oxygen hormones and metabolites and exit of carbon dioxide and nitrogenous metabolic wastes the placentation is a mode of formation and fusion of the placenta into the uterine wall the implantation of placenta means attachment and establishment before substantial growth can occur the blastocyst must attach to the uterus and establish the nutritional supply of the embryo plus implantation blastocyst is held closely against the uterine endometrium which is the decidua which literally means to shed the uterine capillaries and the uterine wall in the immediate vicinity of the embryo becomes more permeable and causes local stromal edema The endometrium around the embryo show the signs of decidual cell reactions which include first of all the epithelium becomes disrupted secondly loosely packed fibroblast like cells of the stroma are transformed into large rounded glycogen filled cells thirdly the number of the cells and vascularity of the area increases and fourthly the decidual cell thus form as form an implantation chamber around the embryo The trophoblast or the uh, primary fetal membranes when the mesoderm lines its cavity it becomes chorion which is the fetal portion of the placenta the trophoblast penetrate the endometrium and may destroy the uterine epithelium and phagocytose the decidual cells to obtain nutrition for the fetus Trophoblasts penetrate the endometrium and may destroy the uterine epithelium and phagocytose the decidual cells to obtain nutrition for the fetus. Here you can see the placenta. Here we have the two umbilical arteries. This is one umbilical vein and that is the whole structure of umbilical cord. The pattern of implantation may vary in different species. First, it can be superficial or central. in such case the blastocyst remain unembedded in the uterine lumen for example most ungulates like pigs carnivores like dogs and monkey this pattern can be interstitial in such case the blastocysts are completely embedded in the endometrium for example hedgehog guinea pig bat ape and man the implantation can be eccentric third pattern is that of the eccentric in which blastocyst lies for the time in a fold or pocket which loses off from the main cavity secondarily it becomes interstitial for example in case of the beaver rat squirrel and other rodents let us study the pregnant endometrium or the decidua it is divided into different regions depending on their relationship to the implantation sites first decidua basalis then decidua capsularis and in the end decidua parietalis here are different types of placenta which include diffuse type discoid type cotyledonary type and zonary type of placenta 
This is diffuse placenta usually found in the pig and horses, cotyledonary placenta in rudiments, zonary placenta in dogs and cats, discoidal placenta in primates. Thank you so much. That was all about placenta. Subscribe on Ops and Gyne. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.